Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to edit the text or the string in your text view, uh, the widget using the spinnable string in your Android app. So let's begin. We'll create a again an empty activity. We can name this as edit text view app. You can name it anything. Uh, click finish. Wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. Once the environment loads up, of course, first and foremost, I can start the emulator also on the right hand side so that uh, yeah, the lab, uh, app can load up. I don't think I need the uh, na navigation or the browser on the left, explorer on the left hand side. And in the layout, the XML file, I think we'll definitely need the text view because that's what we are going to modify. I'll give it some ID. I can just give it as a simple ID as text view itself. And okay, emulator is uh, loading, so I just again minimize. And um, the other thing I can do is probably increase the size of this from 14 to something like 24 uh, yeah, SP. And I can also increase this in, yeah, in the size of the complete text view box. So that's all. And of course, I'll put a button here to uh, and uh, what this button will do is it will edit the text so i can just name this button edit text yeah i'll, I'll of course will implement the method for this button shortly but perfect and now if i go in the java code quickly i create a public method public void button edit text view view okay and i'll go back to my layout and assign that method in the on click attribute of this button so if i scroll down over here perfect and uh, for this text view i think the id we have already given text view so let me go back to my java code and quickly create a private class variable called text view and i will associate this text view with the widget using this text view find view by id r dot id dot text view using this find view by id concept okay now in this method we'll keep it pretty simple uh, we'll create a spinnable string a spinnable string and probably of course hard code the spinnable string uh, where you can also take it from the text view you can take it as a uh, put as an input from the user but here i'm going to hard code for simplicity and just i'll mention um, probably hello Programmer world, which is the name of my channel, and another line could be this is a sample text. Perfect. Okay, and now we'll do our editing on this spinnable string. Uh, so we'll just what what we'll do is probably we'll I'll just show you a couple of things like set a span and I'll set it for bold and underline. So I'll just put as new a span style a style span probably, and then. This one I'll do is for bold. So I'll make a part of this string bold. So of course the first input is what is the style I want to do. And then the second and third input is start and end the flag. So start will be of course probably in this let me start the program. Let me make a programmer is bold and world is underlined. Uh, okay so this starts I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will start at the 7th position. And Programmer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 17 it will end and 0. Perfect. So, yeah, I, of course, I'm hard coding, but here you can also take the inputs from the users of start and, and index, which I have shown in one of my other videos how to do that. But yeah, for simplicity, I just want to do it as a hard coding here. And the second one I can do is I can underline. So, I underline a portion of this text, which is probably let me underline the world part. So this could start from 18 and end could, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 18 plus 5, 23. I think that's all. And then I can use again uh, the text view to set this text. And I can set this as spinnable string back over there. Perfect. So I think that's all. I can rerun this. In my emulator, get the emulator to 
refresh my latest changes whatever I have done here. And yeah, okay, I think I can see on the right hand side the edit text and all those things have come. If I click here, perfect. So if you notice or if you can observe, programmer is okay. Let me zoom it a little bit so that is clearly visible. And uh, yeah, programmer is bold and world is underlined. So this line is responsible to make it bold. And this line is responsible to make it, um, yeah, uh, underline. I can just quickly restart and see in this zoom fashion how it comes up. So if I click again, perfect. So that's all I wanted to show you in this short video that it's, okay, let me put that there. It's, uh, it's so simple. It's a, uh, yeah, I've shown this in my other videos as well, but I wanted to make an exclusive video for that text view because there were questions how to do that for text view. And yeah, so similarly, how we do it for edit text, same concept goes for text view as well. You just create a spanable, a spanable string and set the span uh, for the range, whatever you want to set, and then set it as a text in the text view, and that will be taken care of. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.